Good evening, welcome to another media, another cooking with Ash. Today, uh, Ash is making banana bread. That I've never made before. That she's never made before. And we're gonna find out, see if it's good or not. Because I will give you my honest opinion. I'm, I mean, what if you don't even like banana bread, period? Right. That's gonna suck. It may not be your, just your banana bread. Maybe Good I just... thing we have more taste testers here. Right. Well, let's see how it goes. Now we're gonna hand it off to Ash. She's gonna show us the ingredients for today. I love ingredients, you're messed up. All right, so I have three ripe bananas, two large eggs, semi-sweet mini chocolate chips, some salt, vanilla extract, flour. Oh, I don't have the right butter, guys. Use unsalted butter. I'm gonna try it with this, see if it works out. A couple recipes say it works, other recipes say it doesn't work, but I forgot to buy unsalted butter. Um, and we need some sugar. Oh, I think I'm missing an ingredient. So these are where I'm getting it from, and these are the measurements. I am missing baking soda. All right, guys, so I didn't have baking soda, but I do have baking powder. I looked it up online, and basically it's somewhat of the same thing, but baking powder is less effective so you have to use triple the amount so let's say the ingredient called for one um, teaspoon of baking soda since I don't have baking soda I'd be using three um, teaspoons of baking powder okay so we're gonna put in half a cup of butter again guys I am NOT using the right butter don't judge me hopefully this comes out okay hopefully. So, um, half a cup of butter, which is four ounces. There you go. And then we need sugar. Two third cups of sugar. Okay. Two third cups of sugar. Pour it in. And then you're gonna whisk it together. Oh, what is that? Mix We're it together. We're using this. We're using this fancy old thing. Yes. Mm. You're gonna mix it together. Basically, kind of making it creamy. Nice. All right. So this. Okay, now we're going to add in two large eggs. Don't judge me on how I crack my egg. <laughs> Egg cracker. I think we're all or all egg crackers. Not the best at adding. All right, so we're gonna put three bananas. So something happened to this one. This one was red. <laughs> he flew. He said, "No, don't of... cook me." Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you have to make sure that the bananas are ripe, just like this one. They are literally falling off like easily. That's why that one fell. <laughs> this is a good thing, like if because this is what always happens in our house. We buy bananas. We never eat all of them. <laughs> we eat some. So yeah, we eat some of them, but we never eat all of them. So this is a good recipe for when you have bananas and you don't know what to do with them. Right, that way you don't throw the food away, you end up using it some other way. Let's finish mixing this up and then um, we're gonna mash up the bananas as well. You're gonna use your fork and then we're gonna add it into this batter. Okay. Should look something like this and now um, yeah so now we're gonna mash up the bananas <laughs> like plopping in there uh -huh. so I don't know it's looking a little weird to me so I pray that the butter works with this but it looks like it's separating and I don't like the look of it but all right so I'm going to mix this now we're gonna add our dry ingredients okay so we're gonna need half a teaspoon 
of vanilla extract. Oh, which I spilled a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We need one and a half cups of all purpose flour. So one. And then a half. And then which half. Which is four half. ounces. Four ounces. <laughs> So it says one teaspoon of baking soda, which means I'll be using three teaspoons for baking powder. Okay, right, because we have to triple the amount. Yes. All right, so one. Yep. Two. Three. So it then, the recipe calls for half a teaspoon of salt, but I'm gonna use one fourth of a teaspoon because my butter that I used already has salt. Makes sense, yeah. So I'll use... Maybe you'll save it like that. Okay. Last but not least are my chips. I'm going to use a cup. So we got the semi-sweet real chocolate chips Publix brand. So you guys know which ones we're using. You're really good. All right, so it's time for mixing. All right, so we decided to use a machine instead. We preheated the oven already. 350? Yeah. 350. All right, so we're done mixing it. It looks pretty good. It's supposed to be clumpy like that. Okay. You looked it up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think we're on the right path here, guys. Hopefully. These chocolate chips, I cannot stop eating them. They are so good. The day we have a bigger kitchen, it's going to be the best day of your life. It sure will. I'm frustrated. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, so here you're gonna spray butter um, if you have some, or you can just use a, a napkin and mm. spread butter around just so it doesn't stick. Then we're gonna add our mixture. I wonder if all of this fits in here. I think it does. I see some, some space in there still. I think you have space for more. All right, so we did end up putting it in two different pans because it was too much. So we're putting a little more chocolate chips on the second one because since we transferred it from there to no, here. No, it's both of them. Oh, it's on both top. Oh, on top? Mm -hmm. Oh, it just smile like I like it. The more chocolate, the better. All right, guys, so this is going in the oven for... It says 55 to 65 minutes. A whole hour, so... Well, it's 7, 12, so at 8, 12, 8, 15 <laughs> Yeah, I know we'll eyeball it, but which, you know, around that time. So, we'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes since we put the timer on the oven, and uh, you think they're done? They look done to me. Yeah, they do. It's even getting crispy. Ah. Yes. Yeah, they look crispy, so I think they're done. Good job, oven. What we need to do. Oh, there you go. All right, so here's a look at the banana bread with chocolate chips. Looks pretty good. It smells good too. <laughs> hope it tastes Let's good. Let's hope it tastes good, yeah. All right guys, moment of truth to see if the banana bread is good. My mom tasted it, she said it was good. We're just not like banana people like that, but. Just don't like the smell of it. It does taste a lot like chocolate though. This little piece had a lot of chocolate. Oh man, I like it because it tastes a little bit, of, a little bit, a little bit of banana. You don't taste too much of banana. Mostly it is chocolate though. My mom was right, but not so bad. What do you think? What do you think it's missing? What do you think it needs? Not bad at all. That's what I was saying. It's not. It doesn't taste like too much of of banana. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. You guys got the free recipe of banana bread with chocolate chips. So the result, it's good. Came out good. Didn't come out too sweet or anything. 
came out perfect. So here is your sign to try something new because we've never tried a banana bread. And um, at least this one that we made was pretty good. And I think it's because it has chocolate chips. Yeah. I think the so chocolate some chip make helps. it with raisins. Oh no, I'm not a raisin type of person. And neither are you, you don't like raisins mm -hmm. like that. No. But here we go guys. You guys can make a banana bread with chocolate chips. So, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. It also helps out Ashley because this is her cooking vlog. It sure does. Also, if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because we do uh, like upload quite a few videos like this um, where you show them like stuff that you do in the kitchen. Right. And uh, like recipes and stuff like that. So if you guys like those type of videos. Yeah, and if there's something that you would want me to cook, yeah, let us know. You can let us know too. Yeah. Overall, we had a great day today. We wish you guys can stay, but now it's time for you guys to go. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.